Hey everybody, Diecast Rhino here, and today we have Matchbox versus Hot Wheels going head to head as we compare their 2020 Jeep Gladiators. Stay tuned. Thanks for tuning in today. So, who makes a better Jeep Gladiator? As you saw before the jump, we've got the Matchbox 2020 Gladiator, and we've got the Hot Wheels 2020 Jeep Gladiator. And we're going to take an in-depth look at both today and figure out which one, if either, is the better casting. And, at the end of our analysis, we'll put them on the track to see which one has the edge where it really counts. Let's get started. So in 2019, Jeep reintroduced the Gladiator. They had not had that in their lineup since 1988. Both Hot Wheels and Matchbox jumped in to capitalize on the popularity. So let's take a look at these two castings and how they are alike and how they're different. First of all, just going by the, the overall forms that they chose to do each model. Um, start with the Hot Wheels version here. The Hot Wheels version looks like it was taken almost straight from the 2018 LA Auto Show. If you go and look at the photos of that, which was when Jeep was introducing the Gladiator for the first time um, since its hiatus. If you look close enough, I think uh, if you compare this with the photos, you'll even see that these motorcycles are probably almost exactly the same as the ones in the pictures. On the other hand, Matchbox chose to go with this version with uh, no doors. This one happens to look almost exactly like promotional photos that Jeep used on their website. So now if we just want to take these two and compare them side by side, really almost the exact same size, lengthwise, width, almost exactly the same. The wheel wells look almost exactly the same size. They come out about the same width. Compare the backs, you see some differences. Um, tailgate open, obviously, tailgate, tailgate closed. Roughly about the same size. We'll check uh, a little later and see what the weight is. So let's just start here at the front. Compare grills. That iconic Jeep grill on the front. Obviously to start off with, I'd, I'd have to give the edge to the Hot Wheels version because they put a little more detail in there. Um, they're both molded almost the same way, but uh, the Hot Wheels chose to paint uh, the grill in there and the headlights black. Um, Matchbox didn't do any of that. They just went ahead and painted the whole thing red. The grill, however, on the Hot Wheels is not part of the metal body. That's a different part, whereas here on the Matchbox, this is all one metal body piece. Looking at the detail on the hood, looks pretty similar. Looks like they got pretty much everything right. Everything is placed just slightly differently, though. Um, if you look at these vents, that are on the hood. For some reason, the Matchbox version, they're, these right here, they're sort of slid all the way up to the front of this area here, whereas on the Hot Wheels, they're more towards the middle. Put these two together here on top of each other, looking down the sides. Both very accurate. Um, again, now you see a difference here. The Fenders, the wheel wells, are part of the metal body on the Hot Wheels, whereas they are part of the plastic base on the Matchbox version. A um, lot of detail here with the door hinges. See the little Jeep logo there, Jeep logo there. This one on the Matchbox is actually a little more accurate, I think. Um, obviously no doors. Got the doors here on the Hot Wheels version. We do see a little Hot Wheels logo back here on the back on each side. Uh, oh yeah, I forgot. Um, we do have Rubicon. Again, on the Hot Wheels, little different placement than it is on the Matchbox version. Matchbox has it all the way up closer to the front. Matchbox chose to paint in the, uh, the little vent there on the side. You can see it formed on the Hot Wheels version, but it's not painted in. And I believe this little dimple here that's painted on the Matchbox, not painted on the Hot Wheels version, is 
I believe that's where the antenna attaches. I know it is on on this side of the truck. My daughter has a Jeep Liberty and it has this exact same piece on it and on hers it's where the antenna is attached. Um, no Matchbox logo anywhere on this car. So they did put a little Hot Wheels stamp right back here. Nowhere does it say Matchbox uh, on the outside of this car here. Moving around to the back. Obvious difference here. You got one with tailgate closed, one with tailgate open. Hot Wheels chose to put the tailgate open. And one of the things that I noticed that on the Hot Wheels version, they do have Jeep stamped on the tailgate there. And I was a little surprised Matchbox does not have that on there. It's usually Matchbox is pretty good about stamping those tailgates, whether it's Ford, Chevy, Dodge, Jeep, whatever. Um, obviously, nothing in the, in the uh, truck bed on the Matchbox version. We've got these motorcycles uh, on the Hot Wheels version. Um, like I said, they, I think they pretty much chose this right out of that LA Auto Show. Let's look quickly at the wheels. Both have some big off-road wheels, but I'm going to set these down here. So now we've got the cars down head to head, and I'm going to put you down here at this angle. It looks like that the Hot Wheels version might be a little more lifted, a little higher than the Matchbox version. The wheels are basically the same size, but we've got a much bigger gap over here on the Hot Wheels version. Makes it look a little higher. It's not much higher at all. I mean, you'd have to measure that in millimeters probably, but just gives it a little more of a lifted look. All right, what's left? What about the interiors? Let's look at this one first, because this is obviously the easiest one to see. We look at this interior, and I don't know, not a whole lot going on. Even though this is a completely open uh, top and open sides, they didn't do a whole lot uh, over at Matchbox with detailing the interior here. I uh, do see some floor mats down there. We can see the seats are uh, kind of, you know, there's some molding going on there. Not a lot on the dash at all. Not much to look at. This guy here from Hot Wheels has some uh, dark tinted windows on the front and back, and then uh, the in interior is dark. So, Went ahead and got another one of these and drilled it out so we could look at that. First of all, boom, there's that grill. It's actually part of the glass. I would have never known that if I hadn't taken this apart. So here's our interior for the Hot Wheels. Not a whole lot going on in that one either. Much bigger steering wheel on the Matchbox than on the Hot Wheels version. I'm not sure what that's all about, but anyway. So there that is, if you're interested. All right, so let's see how much these guys weigh. We'll start out with the Hot Wheels version. You see that? Let's get that glare out of there. 1.31 ounces. And the Matchbox, 1.13 ounces. Quite a big difference there. 1.31 and 1.13. Now, being a Cub Scout leader and participating in many, many Pinewood Derby races, you know, that's one of the things everybody likes to do. You want to find out how heavy your car is before you send it down that track. You want it to weigh more on a gravity track. So... Right away, I'm thinking maybe Hot Wheels is going to have the advantage. We'll find out. Go. Hot Wheels racers, pick your lane. Okay, here we go for race one. We're going to put the Matchbox in lane one and the Hot Wheels in lane six. And then we are ready to go.
Mm, winner was Matchbox. All right, so now we'll switch it up. We will put Hot Wheels in lane one. Matchbox, lane six. And here we go. Matchbox again. Okay, this time we're going to be doing lanes two and five. We got Hot Wheels in lane two. We got Matchbox on lane five. Here we go. Winner, lane five. Ooh, again. Okay, now we'll go back to two and five. This time Matchbox in two, Hot Wheels in five. And here we go. All right, so far Matchbox has won every race. Now we're gonna do the final two heats, lanes three and four. Matchbox in lane three, Hot Wheels in lane four. Here we go. Winner. Matchbox winner again. Okay, last race, Hot Wheels on lane three, Matchbox in lane four. Here we go. Well, it was a total skunk. Six races to zero, all in favor of Matchbox. Well, folks, you saw it. Despite conventional wisdom, the Matchbox Jeep Gladiator dominated that series of races, six to zero. It won in all six lanes and it wasn't even really close. But if you're a Hot Wheels enthusiast, never fear, I have a theory. If you look at the wheels on the bottom of the uh, Matchbox Gladiator, you'll see there, even though they've got the off-road knobby look on the outside, side to side, they are smooth. The Hot Wheels, not so much. A lot of bumpy tread all the way from the inside wall to the outside wall. And I think that's what did it. Thanks for stopping by and watching today. And if you'd like to see more content similar to this, where we do head-to-head -head matchups with Matchbox and Hot Wheels, just leave a note in the comments section and we'll try to find some more to do like this. I think it was pretty fun. Please remember to like and subscribe. And we'll see you next time.